Hello everyone, we will continue the topic authority check and in the previous videos, we started with the practical part, we took the requirement, based upon that requirement, we created the object class, we created the authorization object, we assigned the authorization field inside the authorization object and we took the standard authorization field ACTVT. And after that, we have written the logic in the program that the user has the authorization for that authorized authorization object or not. And syntax is authorization check object object name ID. After that, you will pass the name of the authorization field and then you need to pass the value of that authorization field. Now, assigning the role, assigning the role to the user is completely, completely a SAP basis person responsibility. So whatever the authorization object is there, SAP basis person will create a role. SAP basis person will assign the authorization object into that tool yes along with the activity value also because that is most important suppose your supervisor is saying that this user only only has the rights to insert the record so it must be communicated to the sap basis person so that whenever sap basis person will create a role at that time, the basis person will check the activity 01 only, that is for create, and that role will be assigned to the user. But it's a request, never, never do, or a technical person never has to do these things. A BAP consultant never has to do these things because they are considered as one of the most critical activities in the project only system administrator or basis person should handle this. Now, for this time perspective, I will show you, yes, in the user, where we have the role tab, where SAP basis person will assign the role. So there is a transaction code SU01, which is for maintenance of the user. Again, most critical transaction code do not do anything with this particular transaction code because if you will do something wrong, anyways, it will hamper you only. You will not be able to log in or something wrong will happen to your ID only. Yes. Suppose if I will go for my ID, I will display my ID. So there is a tab roles. So SAP basis person will create a role in the within that role. We have the authorization object with the authorization field value and that role will be assigned to my user ID. And whenever this logic will execute, system will check. Do you have the authorization for that object? or act and activity value or not. So this is how authorization work. But please, please do not do anything with these transaction code. As a technical person, as a ABAP consultant, just focus what you need to do. You need to create the authorization field if required. You need to create authorization object, object class, and you need to write the logic after that, yes, assigning the authorization object with the help of role is completely, completely a system administrator or basis person responsibility. Now, now that authorization object is not assigned to my ID because there is no, there is no creation of the role. And if there is no creation of the role, it means authorization object is not assigned to my ID. It means whenever I will run this particular program, this authorization object will give me the size sub RC other than zero and I will get an error message. Suppose I will put a breakpoint. This is how authorization works. Suppose I will put a breakpoint as a part of add selection screen event. 
This is your add selection screen event. I will put the breakpoint as a part of start of selection also. I will let you know why I have put this. I will run. Suppose I will put a order number. Suppose I will put, suppose 890. I'll check in the table. Is there 890 is there or not? I will go to order header table. I will go to the contents for the table. Yes, 890 is not there. Now I will put some order date, payment mode, total amount, currency. Whenever I will go for execute or whenever I will press enter, you all know, yes, add selection screen event will trigger first. Because whenever we are performing any action, add selection screen event triggers first. Now, first radio button, capital X. Now, this I will do F6. Now, it will check, do you have the authorization for this particular authorization object having authorization field value 0, 1? There is no authorization because in my role, there is, because in my role tab, in my user ID, there is no role which has this authorization object. So, whenever I will do F6, have you seen what is the value of psi sub rc? It is 12. This is how our system is checking for the authorization. Now, psi sub rc is other than zero. And I got a simple message that you are not authorized to insert the record. Suppose simple example. Suppose I want to insert the record. Suppose I will go for execute. Now you can simply tell the basis person. Suppose if you want the insert record rights, you can easily, easily check, communicate this authorization object and this activity value to the SAP basis person. SAP basis person will assign the rights to you. Suppose I am doing F6. You can see the value of psi sub RC is other than zero. Now a technical person, suppose for this time being, you want to insert the record to the database table. Suppose basis person is not available or you want to do the testing immediately, but do this only, only in the development system, not in the quality and production. Anyways, you do not have the rights at all. In the debugging playlist also, I clearly explained, yes, how you can skip the authorization check with the help of debugging. Suppose you are working on some urgent issue and at that time basis person is not available and system is stopping you because you do not have the authorization. Then what you can do? Simply change the size of RC value. But yes, it's a request if basis person available, always, always connect with them that you want a authorization for this authorization field. Now size sub RC, we put zero. If size sub RC zero, it means this message will not come. So there is no error. So system will go to start of selection. Now we have the start of selection and you can see now the logic executed and insertion successful. This is just I showed you, yes. Suppose you are doing the practical and you want to insert the record then you can simply change the value in the debugging mode, but always make a priority that SAP basis person is ask the basis person that I want the authorization of this authorization object with this activity value. If I will show you that table, if I will refresh this table, so you can see now the new record inserted. Similarly, you can go for suppose if I will go for delete operation, again, same to same logic will execute. Suppose if I will go for update also, now system is checking. Second radio button, capital X. System is checking. Do you have the authorization for this authorization object and 06, 06 is for delete. No, I do not have the authorization. You can see size sub RC is 12. So we can connect with basis person and tell that we want the authorization of this particular authorization object and value 12. Similarly, if I will go for update also, suppose if I will go for update, 
again, I have the value other than zero. And yes, we are getting the same to same message for update also. Yes, this is how system is checking for the authorization. So what is the summary of this particular video? First thing I clearly explained as a technical person, just focus what you need to do. You need, you can create authorization field, authorization object, object class and writing the code. Writing the code is extremely important because we are the back consultants, yes, but never, never go for creation of role, assigning the authorization object to the role and assigning the role to your ID because this is totally handled by SAP basis person. And if by mistake you did something wrong, it will hamper your ID. It will hamper other users also if you are doing this to other users. Yes. Now, after that, I showed you in SU01, how SAP basis person is assigning the role to us. In SU01, we have, there is a user ID. So all user IDs are in SU01. So basis person will assign the role to our user ID. And system will check. System will check that are you authorized for this particular authorization object and authorization field value. And we got the size of RC other than zero. Then I showed you also that way, suppose by hook or crook, yes, right? So suppose you want to just pass that the authorization check. So you can change the value in the debugging mode, but that is for the technical person flexibility only. If basis person is available, always, always take the help from them. This is just, I showed you, yes, if you stuck somewhere and you want to urgently test something, then you can change the value in the debugging mode and you can do that particular thing also because that authorization is stopping you at that point of time. Now, in the next video, we will simply understand what is the meaning of SAP underscore all and again, important topic as a part of authority check. Then we will go for further new requirement also as a part of authority check. So that's it in this video. Thank you.